Welcome guys to another tutorial from Humble Legs. I'd really appreciate it if you share or subscribe to the channel. Today's tutorial is about how to create a mega menu in Aksha. Firstly, we will look at a real world example and use it as a reference for our tutorial. And then we'll go about wireframing it. What I have in front of me right now is the neck.com site you may have picked up that i really like the site it's very well designed so you'll notice over here you've got one mouse over the mega menu drops down some categories and particular links associated with that category this is what we're going to be creating today so let's get to it so fire up your action and open up a new file. You do that by file new and you'll get something like this which is an untitled document. Now we're going to build the header firstly. So we're going to drag in a rectangle. Set that rectangle to a width of 1200 pixels by around 40 pixels height wise. Next, we want to create uh, just blocks for your actual menu. The title, men, and we shall give it dimensions of about 130 pixels by 40, which is the same um, as our background. Cool. I want to add some interaction styles. So on mouse over, just change the fill color to a light gray, then click on OK down here, and your interaction style has been added. So the first thing we create a panel for that mega menu we just saw. Duplicate by pressing on Alt, drag and give it a bit of height push it up now let's put in a couple of sub menu items so I drag in a title shoes it's also clothing duplicate that shop by spot and lastly shop by brand so you'll notice I just held Alt, dragged, you can press Shift to make sure that it hangs on that particular grid line. Go. Cool. And lastly, each particular category has got a sub-menu item. I'm going to just call it menu item. All right. And I'm going to duplicate this and that and that. And I'll just space them out vertically. That's cool. And I'll give this a bit of just a bit of weight. So I'll make it bold. That's for the headings. And I'll just increase the size to about, let's say, 16. Cool. That's a good size. And that's cool. We will duplicate just the menu items across subcategories. Cool. And lastly, I want to make a dynamic panel of this. So select everything in your mega menu, go down to convert to dynamic panel, and write a name. I'm going to call this mega underscore menu right click and set to hidden on the menu click on on mouse enter and let us add let us show our mega menu and we will animate down and treat as a flyout okay Cool, let's take a preview of this. 
and here we have our menu go over men and you can see our mega menu comes down well what if I have more than just one button and I need a different um, different content for that particular section let's go about creating that let's go over to your action select your mega menu and just under the widget manager I'd like you to you'll notice that there's a state for mega menu and that's state one duplicate this and open up state two now we will call this women's shoes so the key is to really create two states uh, well any number of, of states for the number of menu items that you have on your menu so this could be called women women's clothing that's all that I'll change now go back to the home page we will duplicate this so alt drag and call it women and on the actual case we are going to set the panel state of mega menu to state 2 before I actually show the menu and click OK it has to be set to state 1 so let's add that state set the panel state of the menu to state 1 shift that across over before you actually show the menu and let's preview this so if I go over men you'll notice this is the menu for men go over women you'll notice women's shoes and women's clothing go over men so you'll notice the two differences women and and that does it for today's tutorial if you found this helpful please share it or please subscribe thank you so much for your support we've got more videos coming up thank you bye